Hey guys, my name is Rugila and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you my everyday makeup routine for 2020, which is super simple and easy to do. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started. So I'm going to start with primer and I use this primer from Maybelline. So I will just squeeze a little amount and I just apply it on my face with my hands. And by the way, I will list all the products in the description, so if you want to check them out, you can just go into the description box and they will be right there. Okay, so I will just apply some primer on my forehead and just spread everything out, so we would have this nice base for our makeup. So now I will apply some foundation and I am using this foundation from Maybelline and my beauty blender from Real Techniques. I usually don't do full face on foundation every day, it just kind of depends on my mood I guess. Some days I will do full face on foundation, some days I will put the foundation only on my forehead and the other days I would only go with some concealer, so yeah, like, it really depends. But I really really love this foundation because it has a very light coverage and it just feels very nice on my face because I honestly hate when you like wear foundation and you literally can feel how heavy it is. Like I really 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 don't like that. This foundation definitely does not cover all the skin things and that's quite a minus but I don't really have another foundation anyways right now. And I will try some of them in the future though, so yeah, I will let you know if I find some other foundation that I like. Because I've been literally using this one for quite some time and it just really matches my skin tone. So that's another thing I like because sometimes, as I've said, I wear foundation only on my forehead, so you know, I need to match it really really well. Okay, so I applied my foundation. And you can still see that I have a lot of things going on my skin and the foundation didn't really cover them. So what I like to do is I take this brush from Real Techniques, which is a like really flat foundation brush. And I just took a little bit of my foundation and only apply it if I had any pimples or blemishes to really really cover them up. I will take my mirror like this and just add the foundation on all the pimples that I have and just blend it out with my finger. And yes, my skin is not doing very well right now because <laughs> school has started and I'm literally so stressed like 24-7 so that's why my skin is acting weird because if I'm feeling stressed my skin goes absolutely crazy. And anyway, we should normalize not having the perfect skin. Now I will apply some concealer. And my concealer, you aren't surprised, you know it because it's my favorite concealer. The Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline and I've been using this forever. And honestly, it's pretty cheap and it works so amazing. I absolutely love it, so I will apply it on my under eyes. And I will blend it once again using my Real Techniques makeup sponge. Anyway guys, I just got a real light last week and oh my god, I'm so excited. I hope you see that the lighting is so much better. Okay, so now I'm just using some matte powder from Maybelline and I will set up my under eyes to stop the concealer from creasing. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eyes and when I do my makeup every single day, I'm honestly too lazy to do eyeshadow, but I have pretty small eyes, so what I like to do is I like to take my bronzer and I just take an eyeshadow brush and take a little bit of bronzer and just apply it on my crease. And honestly, I've been really loving it because it gives your eyes a little bit more color and makes them pop a little bit more. But it's literally so simple, it takes like a few minutes and it matches really nice with your bronzer. So yeah, if you haven't tried it, I really really recommend. So I'm just applying some of the bronzer in my crease and yeah. Anyways guys, it's officially fall season. I mean, it's September so it should be fall. So if you have any video ideas you want me to do related to fall season, 
then just leave them down below in the comments and I will do them because I would love to create something you like watching so yeah and now I will take a smaller eyeshadow brush and just apply the bronzer under my eye right here okay so I just went to grab my eyelash curler and of course first of all I'm going to curl my lashes before applying any mascara because my lashes are really straight When my lashes are curly, I will grab my mascara and I'm using the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. My favorite mascara is obviously Better Than Sex from Too Faced. It makes my lashes look so good, but no one really sells it in Lithuania, so I have to use what we have here. So I tried this Benefit mascara and I actually really liked it as well, so that's what I currently use. Okay, so lashes are done and now I will do my eyebrows. I will be using this pencil from NYX and it's NYX Micro Brow Pencil. First I will take this side which has a little, I don't know how to call it, you know this little brush thing and I'm going to just brush through my eyebrows to remove any makeup, any foundation in it and make it easier to fill them in. So yeah, I'm just simply brushing through my eyebrows and then I will take the other side which is the actual pencil and I'm just going to fill them in okay so I really like how my eyebrows look naturally so I don't really change the shape I just fill them in give them a little bit more color and that's it I don't really like to mess up with their form okay and another kind of update channel update we just hit 450 subscribers yesterday and oh my goodness it makes me so happy so yeah thank you so so much everyone who subscribed to my channel who watch my videos and leave all the nice and sweet comments like i really really appreciate it and by the way if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed to my channel then what are you waiting for Go and click that subscribe button, join this family, we would be very happy to have you here. Okay, so I haven't mentioned that, but when I am finished filling my eyebrows in, I just brush them once more to blend everything out and make them look really, really natural. So now we only have a few parts left and the first one is to apply some bronzer. I'll be using this brush from Real Techniques and this palette, which you have seen before in this video, I will just take some of the color and tap of the excess a bit like this because this bronzer is very pigmented and you need to be careful with it. And I take a smaller eyeshadow brush from Real Techniques which is really really fluffy and I also take a little bit of bronzer and apply it on my nose because now it honestly looks a bit weird and I usually don't do all like contouring and stuff like that because I just like a very natural look so I just apply a little bit of bronzer and that works for me perfectly so now I will take my makeup sponge and go to every place where I applied my bronzer and just blend everything out to achieve that natural look and to avoid any harsh lines. Okay, so now it's one of my favorite parts and it's highlighter time! So I'm using this golden highlighter from Maybelline and I'm using the same brush as I've used from, for my bronzer because I don't really have a highlighter brush. So I just take a little bit of highlighter and apply it on my cheekbones, like that. Honestly, maybe this time you will be able to see it or maybe not because when I didn't have my ring light, I honestly barely could see how I'm doing my makeup because the lighting was just terrible. So, so yeah, I just applied the highlighter on my cheekbones, then on my nose. 
under my eyebrows then on the top lip and also in the inner corners of my eyes Okay, so now I only need to do my lips. I'll be using the Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I really really love this lip gloss because it just makes your lips look so good. Okay guys, so my makeup is finished and I really really love how it looks. So I will insert a few clips so you could see the end result better too. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, join our little family and also comment down below what is your favorite makeup brand. I really really hope you liked this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!